Senator Todd Young is weighing in on the FBI's search and on new inflation numbers. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berkowitz is here to tell us about why Young is not joining the chorus of criticism. Well, I caught up with Young this morning at a campaign event at a McCordsville gas station. He says he wants to see the search warrant for Mar-a-Lago before he judges the FBI's actions. This certainly seems unprecedented. I don't know that we've had a president of the United States experience this sort of uh, investigation, but I, th I think it's smart for us to withhold full judgment until we uh, see the search warrant and other documents. Young's comments struck a far different tone from most of his Republican colleagues. Take this tweet from Indiana's other U.S. senator, Mike Braun. Braun accuses the Biden administration of using the FBI and the Department of Justice to attack its political opponents. Young is focusing more on President Joe Biden's economic record. This gas station briefly lowered its price to $2.38 a gallon Friday morning. That was the average when Biden took office. I asked Young about new numbers which show inflation slowed in July. We all hope uh, that that is where the economy is heading, but uh, I'm very skeptical of those numbers based on uh, what we've seen occur over the last two years. When you really look at the fundamentals of our economy, we're not bringing enough energy supply on market. For his part, President Biden credits his administration's efforts to boost oil production above 12 million barrels a day. To that end, he says he wants to force the oil and gas industry to use any outstanding permits they have or lose them. You can see more of my interview with Young this Sunday morning on All Indiana Politics, including why he voted against a measure to cap the price of insulin. All Indiana Politics airs at 9.30 a.m. here on Wish TV. Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.